In the previous lecture, we discussed transformers and we were able to derive transformers equation for alternating current. Now, let's look at the following application. Let's suppose that a certain charger for a laptop contains a transformer that lowers, that decreases our 120 voltage received from the outlet to a voltage of 24 volts to charge the battery of our computer. So also within our charger, let's make the assumption that there is a device that essentially transforms alternating current to direct current so we can charge our battery. Now suppose that the primary coil of our transformer contains 1000 loops of wire and carries a current of 1.2 amps. In part A calculate the number of loops in the secondary coil and in part B calculate the current in a secondary coil. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram that essentially describes our example. So here we have our outlet and we essentially plug our charger into the outlet and an electric current begins to flow and alternating current begins to flow through the following loops of our primary coil. Now that alternating current essentially produces a changing magnetic field which then travels to this region of our iron and that essentially creates an alternating electric current in this region of our wire. So in part A we want to calculate the number of loops in a secondary coil and in part B we want to calculate what the quantity of current is. So let's begin with part A. In the previous lecture, we were able to derive the following equation, which is known as transformers equation. Now, so we know that the voltage at the secondary coil divided by the voltage at the primary coil is equal to the number of loops of wire in the secondary divided by the number of loops of wire in the primary. Now notice this is a step down transformer. That means the number of loops in the primary is greater than the number of loops in the secondary. And that means that the voltage going from primary to secondary there you will decrease because that's exactly what happens. We go from 120 to 24 volts. So let's take this equation, rearrange it and solve for the number of loops in our secondary coil NS. Now we know NP is given by 1000 loops. We know VS is equal to 24 volts and VP is equal to 120 volts. So 24 volts divided by 120 volts gives us 0.2 multiply 0.2 times 1000 gives us 200 loops of wire is found in a secondary coil. So let's move on to step B. Calculate the alternating electric current in the secondary coil. So we have to use the following equation because we're assuming this is an ideal transformer. The power input in this section is equal to the power output in the secondary coil. Now by definition of power, power is equal to the product of current and voltage. So power input is equal to IP times VP and power output is IS times VS. Now VP is the voltage across the primary and IP is the current across the primary while IS and VS is the current and voltage across the secondary. So let's take this and we get the following ratio. So we, assembly br we essentially bring the current to one side and voltage to the other. Now let's solve for our IS because we're looking for our current in the secondary coil. So the current in the secondary coil is equal to the product of the current in the primary coil which is 1.2 amps multiplied by VP divided by VS where VP is given to be 120 volts and VS is given to be 24 volts. So 120 divided by 24 gives us 5 multiply factor 5 by 1.2 amps and that gives us 
six amps. So that implies the alternating electric current in our secondary coil is six amps.